So of course that before before pandemic, we were doing some webinars like everybody, but it was always an undervalued uh, interaction. You know, nobody was used to pay for online lectures. Uh, I, I was part of several projects on online education since almost 20 years and nothing really never took off financially speaking and then suddenly pandemic came and everything changed today we see uh, that we learn how to deliver quality content online and people learned how to take advantage of content online several weeks for me uh, without doing this i was one week or one month in brazil i was traveling around looking gave the few less classes but uh, now i'm back uh, we learned the pros and the cons of a, a course online and there are definitely pros compared to in-person courses for example the fact that we can divide the content in small pieces and dilute you know and people can see a class implement a week see a class again implement a week instead of just being three days immersed in the course so we've been learning with that we had to learn of course if you imagine that when pandemic hit, our business, DSD business in general, I would say more than 50% of the income was dependent on in-person events. That was our business. And people can imagine how worried we were. Suddenly, half of our company or half of our revenue is disappeared. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So in a matter of days, we had to reinvent ourselves, bring all the program online, build a studio from scratch, learn the methodology, invent the methodology, because there was not perfect solutions out there, you know. Uh, and uh, it was amazing because it worked. We were able to reach out to people that could never do our in-person course, uh, able to generate education with less cost to participants, uh, allow people to blend the education process into their daily routine um, and uh, expand DSD through the live stream course. So at this point in time, even towards the end of pandemic, the model will continue. Uh, we are super happy every time, you know, I have to give an online lecture. We learn how to interact and how to be more personal online as well. Um, participants are enjoying and the model will stay and this is one of the few good things that pandemic taught us among many bad things that happen we took uh, good lessons out of it and uh, I love it it was a learning experience for me as well as a speaker as a communicator uh, I love people I love in person I was honestly speaking uh, depressed during pandemic at a certain I think everybody was kind of depressed but some people were less some people were more I was pretty depressed because uh, my personality requires real interaction you know I, I I love being with people not only during the class but before the class after the class you know I'm the type of speaker that likes to stay with the people in the coffee break stay with the participants after the course you know uh, that's why we have so many social events and people say Christian are you aren't you tired you know do you want to break do you want to be on a room by yourself I say no I want to be with people I love it so when we moved online uh, I thought okay we have to do that but I'm not going to enjoy as much and 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 of course we don't have the same level of social interaction but I was able to find a human connection through the little squares in zoom to the little faces, you know, I always ask as many participants as possible to turn on their cameras. I think that is vital, you know, uh, at least turn on when you're there, you know, of course, if you need to do something, you can turn it off, but keep your cameras on as much as you can, because for us on the other side makes a huge difference. So we, as a, we always have a, a percentage of the participants with the camera on, you know, you need to, to keep the interaction high, you know, asking questions, ask them to, uh, to answer you know you need to be interpreting the interpretation of their faces 
um, based on the information you just passed, you know, um, this is very similar to the in-person. So I'm always reading their facial expressions, their reactions uh, to guide me to repeat a topic, to emphasize a topic, to make what, the right moment for a question, uh, the right ma moment for a, uh, a joke or, or a funny interaction or a relaxation or a little break. So these uh, things you can do online. And, and uh, uh, the audience is learning how to interact, the speaker is learning how to interact, and, and that's why I believe that this model will stay.